What's up guys? Let's talk about it. Are you looking for angels or angles? All right, the difference between looking for angles and angels is basically people that look for angels are people that are looking for miracles. They're looking for a lucky break. They're looking for something to miraculously happen that's going to change their lives. People that look for angles look for different ways to attack their problems in life. They look for ways to change their situation. They're looking and thinking ahead of time. That's looking at the angles. Now, people that look for angels are the walking dead. Every day they go to work and they might hate their job and what do they do? Instead of looking for how they can change their situation, instead of looking for how perhaps they might need to get more educated to change their career, perhaps they need to confront their dickhead boss and explain the situation to him in an adult manner, or perhaps they need to quit the job altogether and get a different job. People don't do that. They put up with it. They take a passive role. They go to the workplace every day and play lotto. They hope to win the big jackpot. They hope for the angel to come and save their day even though the numbers are against them. Even though we know that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. These people do the same thing. Not only is it in the workplace, people also do this with their relationships. They hope that they're gonna meet someone that's the right man or the right woman. They are always hoping that it's by chance that they meet this person and where do they meet their spouses? They meet them at the bar or in the wrong place. They don't meet them where they would expect to get high quality spouses. If you are someone who doesn't want someone that cheats around on you, is it wise to really be looking for your wife at a nightclub or in Las Vegas in the casino area? I don't think so. Perhaps you need to look at better social circles. You need to find better places to meet women instead of just degenerate areas. You see, us as people, as a race, as a species, we always go for the path of least resistance. It's just the nature of the universe. Everything goes for the path of least resistance. Water flows downstream, balls fall down and not up, etc. We always go for the easy way out. That's why a lot of us get fooled into this trap. We get fooled by our biology into thinking that things will change without us exerting a certain amount of effort. However, this is not the case. You always need to be evolving. You always need to be pushing yourself if you really want to get to the places that you need to be. The path of least resistance will help you. Your biology doesn't want you to be successful. It just wants you to survive. What you're doing right now is working. Whatever you're doing right now is working. Your body doesn't give a shit about your goals. As long as you're not dead, it's all right. So that's why you need to go against the grain. Go against the grain and look for those angles. So how can you find these angles? Well, there's different ways. It could be perhaps that in order to tackle your adversities, you need more education. Maybe there's something you don't know about. There's some aspect of the problem that you need to get more educated on. Or perhaps you need to meet up with someone who's already done it. Perhaps you need to meet up with a mentor or a certain mastermind group of people that are like-minded and have some of the answers that you might need. Perhaps you might actually need to break some of the rules. Perhaps you need to ask for forgiveness and not for permission. Sometimes in life, that's what happens. We need to go from the passive role to the aggressive role. We need to break some of the rules, take some of those risks, that's what happens. You have to be willing to push the envelope if you want to get what you want. So the good thing about being someone who looks for angles is you start to get a certain amount of control in your life. And there's nothing that's more gratifying than know that, knowing that you are in control. Knowing that you shape your own destiny and that it is not the hands of other people that you are not waiting for some miraculous thing to happen. You're going to make the miraculous thing through your actions. Every day, I personally plan my day. 
journaling part of my week the night before. So I'll be planning the things and I'll go through the actions, the small, seemingly meaningless tasks that I do every day. But over time, you start seeing the trend, you start seeing the upward trends, you start seeing the results of your labor. You start seeing that all these small things add up and that you are no longer looking for those angels, you're looking for angles and you're working on those angles and you're gonna get the results that you want in the long term. You just need to put in the extra effort at the beginning, at the beginning that most people are not willing to do and that way you can ensure that those miraculous things do happen in the long run, eventually. So that's the video for today. I invite you guys to consider that. Look for angles, look for ways that you can approach your tasks. Don't look for angels, don't look for the easy way out. Gain the control and you'll be much happier. Anyway, that's the video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, what the fuck are you doing? Peace. Do it! Just...